morning from Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I am currently at the TBS, the terminal bus station. I'm headed out of Kuala Lumpur and I'm headed to a city that a lot of you might not even have heard of in Malaysia on the eastern coast of Malaysia known as Kuantan and I'm taking a bus. So let me show you guys what this bus looks like. I think we're boarding now. So. This is the bus. Sorry bus. Uh, this one, I can put it here. Okay. Just gotta put them down here. Here we are. This is so. This is what a bus looks like in Malaysia. And by the way, this cost me like five dollars. It's about a five hour journey from KL to uh, one time. It's on the, all the way on the eastern side of Malaysia, which I've never actually explored myself, so it should be interesting. And yeah, this bus, like I said, luxury bus, AC, I think there's Wi Fi, I'm not sure. But $5 for a ticket to go all the way there. So let's see, it should be a good bus ride. Let's make our way. to Kuantan City here in the Pahang state of Malaysia. My first time in this state, my first time in this city and so far the ride was absolutely beautiful. Greenery everywhere as Malaysia usually is. Look at that building over there. So nice. Peaceful. It'll be nice to get away from KL, you know, to the peaceful side, the eastern side of Malaysia. I have to get a grab taxi, go to my hotel, put these bags down because they're weighing me down, cramping up my style. But you can see it's a nice bus terminal pretty big and you know what i have to say also the weather feels a little bit cooler here a bit breezy because we're right by the coast so it's quite nice but i'm gonna get myself a grab and get on my way all right guys let's start to explore the city of kuantan i'm actually staying in this hotel called sky tree hotel which is actually costing me about 20 dollars a night but and it's actually pretty nice you know basic normal hotel here in Malaysia but for 20 bucks I'm here and honestly the look of this city reminds me of being in like Bandar Seri Begawan of Brunei very chill or like Sarawak this is how this is how these cities of Malaysia look once you get outside of like Kuala Lumpur and that stuff usually have a very similar kind of vibe but I'm actually need to go get some coffee guys uh, because you know your boy Meyer doesn't function until he has his coffee and I really haven't had a coffee today I took the bus here and yeah I'm actually headed to this one coffee shop that I just found on Google cowboy I don't know what that is but yeah let's go but you can see it's just a chill city I love I love these cities of Malaysia like the chill cities of Malaysia uh, where you know you can just kind of breathe and just take in everything the air is a bit cleaner here the, we're right on the coast you can feel the water i'll show you guys the beach later as well and yeah it just uh it's always nice being in these kind of cities but stay tuned guys we got a full tour of kwandan coming you know just walking through these local neighborhoods here in um in Kuantan and you can see the street signs are in obviously in their Malay language but they also have Arabic script but I think it's Malay but in Arabic script and I love these old houses so this city is like a, you could call it like a, a Muslim city which most of Malaysia is dominantly Muslim but you have the Chinese influence here as well look at those the two biggest buildings <laughs> It's so funny to go from KL to this, where like KL has this insane skyline and then here you can just see these two sore thumbs just sticking out amongst this flatter kind of skyline or no, no skyline really. 
but I love these houses very nice just to show you like what a local residence area looks like so one really interesting fact about this city of Kuantan is being so close to the coast and having a port it's actually one of the most if not the what the most important port shipping port here in Malaysia a lot of the copper tin that's extracted from the northwest of Malaysia actually comes here to the east and it's shipped down to south to Singapore and other countries so um, this city does have quite an important bearing on the country of Malaysia and its economy just taking a walk walking to this coffee place only coffee that's the name of this place only coffee and that's what we need only coffee I'm not sure where it is though this is not only coffee oh okay here we go open space art studio oh it's an art studio and a coffee shop let's go Art studio slash coffee. Okay. Are we supposed to take our shoes off or I think maybe take your shoes off. Wow. Quite nice. Hello. How are you? You good? The menu is here? Okay. Is this a coffee shop? Yeah, coffee and shop. And art studio? Art studio upstairs. Uh, upstairs, oh, okay. Okay, can I have one uh, iced cappuccino with a little bit of sugar? Yeah. You can choose what beans you want. Huh? Uh, where the bean choice? Yeah, but for now, I've only got one place. It's a medium roast? Yeah, there's a, a medium dark. Medium dark? Okay, that's perfect. Medium oh, dark is Peru. okay. This one, Peru? This one? Or oh, Marketplace. Yeah, I think this one. Which one do you recommend? Um, see your flavor. This one will be a little bit smoky flavor. And this one will be more... Nutty. Nutty? Okay, I'll do the nutty one. Yeah. And... What's this? Tiramisu? Uh, tiramisu, one cheesecake. Can I have one tiramisu? Please? Yes. Do you take card or only cash? Cash or QR. Cash or QR only, okay. How much? 28. 28. When you receive? Uh, none. None. Alrighty, thank you, brother. Is this your shop? Yeah. What's your name? Tim. Tim. Oh, very nice, Tim. I'm just making a vlog about Kuantan. Oh, where are you from? Uh, I'm from America. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I make YouTube vlogs traveling around the world, so... What is special about Kuantan? Kuantan? Yeah. About beach. The beach. Yeah. Very good. What, what's the best beach in Kuantan? Uh, Tolok Champeda or Puteh Beach. Puteh Beach or Tolok, Tolok Champeda? Yeah. Champeda. I yes. think I'm gonna go to that one. Yeah. Thank you. I'm gonna sit down here. Alright guys, so I got this coffee from Only Coffee. Looks really good inside of this glass cup which looks like it's plastic but it's actually glass an iced cappuccino Let's see how it is you know this is the Meyer Travels official coffee taste test I'm world-renowned coffee reviewer pretty soon they're gonna call me the Michelin of coffee so you know, this means a lot mm. very good and actually this coffee shop just opened two months ago so if you're here in Kuantan and you want to support good coffee thank you so much it's very good that's for you very good oh thank you so much appreciate that mm. the coffee is very good yeah. I think you will your your shop will become very famous <laughs> how can you find it here? huh? how can you find it here? Uh, I found it from Google Maps yeah, yeah, but I'm telling all, everyone in my video that if they come to Kuantan, they have to come to your See. coffee shop. Yeah.
right guys, so now we are in downtown and over here. Asalaamu As Alaikum. Wow, look at this beautiful mosque. This mosque is known as Masjid Nagiri Pahang, also known as Masjid Sultan Ahmad number one. And it is absolutely beautiful. Definitely one of the things that you should come and visit when you come to Kwantan. Asalaamu Alaikum brother. How are you brother? Right. Good, good. Nice to what meet you? you. Good. I'm just making a vlog about Kuantan uh -huh. and I'm visiting this beautiful mosque for the first time. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from America, but my family is from originally from Pakistan. Uh -huh. Then I, you came here to, to do a vlog? To do vlog and to explore. Yeah. Are you from Kuantan? Uh, yes. What's special about your city? About this city? Eh? Yeah. From my perspective, I think uh, such a beautiful scenery eh? and it was a night eh? and you like walk for uh, at night at the night eh? you'll see such a beautiful scenery uh, the, the people the people was nice yeah so kind and such a peaceful city i think i agree so far that's what it feels like because yeah. i just came from kl uh -huh. and kl is very crazy yeah so compared to kl this is very peaceful yeah, yeah. what's your name brother uh amma amma assalamu yeah. alaikum brother I'm nice to meet actually. you uh, I'm, I'm 17 actually 17 yeah. oh you're so mature mashallah for your age <laughs> thank you brother yeah thank you i, I can just go in right? yeah, yeah, no yeah. problem okay thank you bro okay nice to meet you assalamu alaikum wow guys look at this mosque so it has the four golden minarets, the blue dome, and it's huge. It's really, really big actually. Way bigger than I, uh, I imagined it to be, to be honest with you. And this right here is the flag of Pahang State. This flag is uh, the flag of Pahang yes. State, right? Yeah. The, the white and black flag represents the state of Pahang. I can show you inside. Oh, thank you, bro. Appreciate it. So do you, you often come here? Uh, I used to be school here. Oh, you used to go to school, like it's madrasa. Like, uh, yeah, like to madrasa. Madrasa, very nice. When I was, like, when I was a young, uh, a young man, still a young man. Eleven. <laughs> eleven. Okay. Very nice. School here. And it's it's named after uh, Sultan Ahmed the first, oh, yeah. right? Yeah. He was one of the Sultan in, yeah. in uh, Pahang State or yes. yeah, in, Pahang. in the Pahang State. Pahang State, very nice. Wow, mashallah, it's beautiful. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, brother? Alhamdulillah. <laughs> Thank you so much, bro. Wow. I did not expect uh, this mosque to be so big and so beautiful as it is, as you can see. It reminds me of some of the mosques that I've seen throughout Indonesia and Malaysia and actually it's very well designed architecturally very beautiful um, sometimes mosques from the outside they're beautiful but once you come inside they're not as nice but as you can see this one is gorgeous inside and out both Assalamu Alaikum wow. look at this Uh, one thing you can one thing that's clear here you see you can see like these uh the the windows they're very very distinct and then to have this gold this blue dome on top of us is like amazing it's absolutely beautiful it's actually really 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 wide and and vast and big and every detail there's, there's so many details throughout the the architecture with the columns with the mosaic tiles with the glass windows just absolutely beautiful the blue carpeting you can tell they put some money into this mosque. Mashallah, it's beautiful. Wow. And it's nice and cool in here. So it's a good place to get away from the heat. I'm gonna make some prayer. Look at these big fans. I have a lot of fans, but they're not that big. It's a dad joke. They also have this outdoor area where you, I guess like when during Juma time, it probably gets pretty cool. And then they have a place where they do hotline nikah. So you can see people are getting married here. They're getting their nikah done. Mashallah. Assalamu alaikum, brother. Yes. Nikah? Yes. Are you part of the ceremony? <laughs> kind of. <laughs> kind of? <laughs> Just joining? 
<laughs> very nice. Who's getting married? Oh, those two. Mashallah. Very nice. Very good. Are you married or no? Inshallah, you will be there soon. I'm still young. Oh, you're still young? How old are you? Uh, 21 years. Oh, bro. Yeah, you have time. Don't worry. <laughs> Inshallah, soon. <laughs> How are you guys? Where are you guys from? from Egypt, from Syria. Oh, very nice. You guys are uh, visiting or you live here? Live here. Oh, live here. Like nine years. Wow, look at that. You have other. Uh, is there a lot of foreigners here or just like few, few? Few. Few. You yes. guys are one of the few. few. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Arabian. <laughs> Arabian. A lot of Arab people, yeah. And so you're from Egypt? Yes. And from Syria. Syria, very yes. nice, very nice. And what do you think about this city? Kwantan. Yeah, Kwantan. Nice, nice, nice. Very, cool. very quiet. peaceful, quiet. Yeah, yeah. quiet. I quiet. just came from KL today. Oh, it's yeah. too crazy. <laughs> it's too crazy, yeah, yeah, yeah. of course. But uh, I, I, I do travel vlogging. Like I make vlogs around different, Mashallah. different countries. So I just like to see the foreign, foreigners' perspective. You know, oh, of the that's place. Nice. So that's okay. why. Yeah. What's your name, brother? Ah, Ahmed. Ahmed also. Mahir. Yeah. Also. Uh, oh, Ahmed Ahmed, okay. Yes. Me, my, like Mahir Zen, you know? <laughs> like, you know, of yes, course. Yeah, yeah. Of course. <laughs> so, uh, you guys study here or work here? Or? Um, my father work here. Ah, I okay. study in Jor Baru. Oh, okay, very nice. Jor, Jor Baru, that's... Jor, no, Jor Baru is south? Yeah, yeah. Yes. South, south. Yes, south. I never went there before, but inshallah next time you know yeah. after after this i will go to kuala Terengganu and different places or oh, more so north much. yeah Thank Thank you. very nice to, nice to meet you nice to meet you nice to meet you so as you can see there's people from different countries here uh although like they said there's a few foreigners but they they do exist so that's cool to see and to get their perspective i think one word to describe this city would be peaceful you know for sure definitely peaceful that's it epitomizes peace So I'm just walking through and one thing I noticed is there's a lot of beautiful artwork along the side of the walls as well, like hand-painted murals. Look at this cool little street. So basically this is right by the Minara Tower as you can see. And if I go any further this way, I'll end up by the water there. So we'll go there in a second, but I just wanted to check out this cool little street here. Just a good vibe, honestly. Really, really small, small town, small city vibe I should say. And everything is painted in these different colors to kind of just pop, make the buildings pop out. Even though these are older buildings, there's a lot of beautiful artwork on them just to kind of, you know, gives the city a nice charm for sure. 7-Eleven, of course. So far, I'm absolutely loving it. it reminds me a lot of Sarawak, Miri. Um, yeah, it has very similar vibes. So I'm walking as close as I can to the tower. I don't think you can go up the tower, but they do have an elevator going up and down. I'm not sure if that's like for tourists. Like, can we go up? But even if you go up there, it's not like there's a skyline or anything here to see, but you can go up to the platform there and kind of just get a view of the water, which I'm about to show you guys. So let's go. Looks like they're still working on this skywalk and stuff, so I don't think I can actually go there. But it's nice. Nice place to hang out, for sure. There's like a boardwalk here. Oh! Hard work. Hard work in this heat, that's not easy. As you can see, this is the tower right next to it. I think they do allow, oh, there's like a, I think there's maybe a zip line or something that you can do. Yeah. So you can walk along this boardwalk here and there's a big Kwantan sign over there, like a Hollywood sign. And it's so quiet but so nice. 
and look at this they got a f3000 power boat i think they do a a power boat championship here in uh along the water here i think and this is one of the boats that was probably used power boat i always found that so cool it's like f1 on the water you know and then yeah i think they do allow people to go up but i'm good on that i don't need to go up there but if you wanted to go do a skywalk you can do it they have it it's pretty cool but i mean skywalks are more interesting like when there's a view or some kind of skyline or something to see but here you can pretty much see everything it's pretty plain and flat so guys i need another coffee to keep me going through this day and over here they have a place called luth luth coffee apparently it's a top rated cafe it's for the real coffee lovers hello thank you how are you fine thank you how are you good <laughs> i need a i'm good but i need a coffee coffee yes i hear you have the best coffee in Kuantan. Um, who said that? Google. <laughs> Are you the owner? Uh, no. Oh. Okay. All right. What do you recommend? Something iced. I think the most popular one is uh, Gula Carbon Latte. Gula Carbon. Yes. What is that? Uh, the sugar is from palm tree. Oh. Uh, we're using the palm tree sugar. Like local palm tree, uh, sugar. Local palm tree sugar. And what is kabung? Uh, the name is gula kabung. Oh, gula, gula is, is sugar. Uh, sugar. Uh, kabung is the, the palm. Uh, local name for the palm. Ah, very nice. Okay, yeah. I'll try that. But not too sweet though. All right. Yeah. And it's what? Two shots of espresso? Two shots. Perfect. Awesome. Thank you, bro. Here it is. My life. My life source. I can take one straw, right? Okay. okay. Alright, this is my first time trying this uh, gula kabung. Let's see. The palm sugar. Wow. It actually has an interesting flavor. You can definitely taste the bean of the coffee, but the, the sugar is not like typical cane sugar kind of gives it a nice twist but the coffee is very good if you're a coffee lover you should definitely come and check this place out it's right here right by the Benara 188 and they have really good coffee and how much is this one 14 ringgit. 14 ringgit walking along the street here and you have a bunch of guys just fixing shoes fixing shoes huh assalamu alaikum Wow, I haven't seen like cobblers fixing shoes in a while like this. It's an old school way, man. No need to buy new shoes. Just come here and get them fixed. Yeah, How long have you been doing this? Um, I was in the, uh, in school at that time at the age of 15, right? 15. And then uh, I went to uh, uh, a place near the river. Yeah. I saw one old man. He was uh, making uh, sandals out of leather, right? So. Uh, I was watching him all day and then every day I came over and then one day I asked him, I said, Pachi, can you uh, can I get a part-time job here? He said, no, no money to pay. So I said, no, I come, I help you. I just want to learn what wow. you're doing. So from that day onwards, I start doing it. And then uh, I went to study in Australia. I was in Australia for four years. I was going to say, your English is very impressive. Oh my. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, definitely. <laughs> so you studied in Australia? Yeah, I was. I, I took the, uh, you know what, the uh, power station Ruffman? Mm. For the electrical. Yeah, for the electrical, like, okay. I can go on, you know, too much for mathematics. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was never good at math myself, you know? Yeah, I was never good at math. That's interesting though, man. You see, yeah, like. Why don't you have a seat? Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. I'm just making a vlog. I'm making a video about Guantan. So oh, yeah. it's nice to just have, like, stories of locals who who have interesting story i think your story is also very interesting you know someone who who's been around the world and you chose to do you i would say that you love doing this yes i do i like to do things with my hands you know i like to do uh, on uh, woodworking and things like that you know? ah okay okay and a bit 
Okay. Spray painting. Also Very nice. Painting. Very I like nice. that kind of stuff. So, how, so since you were 15, you've been doing yes. this? Yes. And you're now 25, right? No, I'm 63. <laughs> <laughs> 63 years old, guys. Yeah. And look, he looks like a, he looked like a young man. Yeah. What's your secret? <laughs> Just a bit of an exercise, you know, this and day. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. And then you don't have to worry about other people. You know? Yeah. Just you you had your own problem. I had my own. I I can go to bed myself. Just so enjoy your life. Yes, correct. Enjoy and your I, life. I do what I do now is as a hobby, you know. Uh, so you don't need to do it. If I, I if I take it as a job, then I have to go. Yes. Yes. Yeah. See, what I do is I I go travel around the world and I make videos, right? And a lot of people think like, oh, it's easy, you know, your life must be easy. Nothing is easy. No, nothing is easy. Everything requires a little bit of work right. and hard work. But when you love something, it doesn't feel like work. Right. Right? There's people who do jobs just to make money. That's going to feel like work. Yes. Because you're never going to enjoy it. But when you do something that you love, you will really, really appreciate it and yes, love good. your life. Yeah. So that's a lesson, man. Take the lesson from, what's your name, brother? My name. Yeah. In Australia, call me Kelly Romero Pesiliano, but in Kwantan, in Malaysia, my name is Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, <laughs> wow, like the boxer. Salam alaikum. My name Pakistan. is Mayer. Mayer, yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Pakistan. Pakistani. Right. So I'm originally, uh, my family is from Pakistan, mm -hmm. but I was born in America. Oh, good. So I'm just like, uh, you know, a little bit of both. No worries, no worries, man. No worries. <laughs> it's a pleasure talking with you, Muhammad. So, guys, if you're ever here in Kwantan and you want to get your shoes fixed or just have a good conversation, you can come sit with Mr. Muhammad Ali and he'll give you some wisdom. <laughs> what a nice gentleman, an amazing story. We just sat down, even off the camera, had such a nice conversation just to hear the stories of locals and people like so touching, so nice. But right here in the middle of the city, not far from the water, they have this clock tower and this huge flag. And that black and white flag again, that's the flag of Pahang State. Very interesting flag. But yeah, they have this water. I think usually they have some like fountain sh show or something and then nice place to just kind of walk. But guys, I'm hungry now, so I'm gonna go get some food. Finally gonna go get some food. Let's go do that. All right, guys. So being how close we are to the water, one of the special foods in this city of Kuantan is any seafood really but one of the places that I've been told by locals to come to is known as Jaman Tori is this place right here Jaman Tori and you can see it's super super busy so we're gonna come here and we're gonna try some local food I don't know where we have to go in. this way this is it Jaman Tori and this place is a famous place. Jaman Tori signatures. So you can see. Salam alaikum. How are you, brother? This is Jaman Tori. Okay. Can I sit down here? Sure. Yeah. You already registered, sir? Huh? You already registered? I didn't register. How many of you, sir? Just me. Only one? Yeah, just me and my camera. <laughs> <laughs> sure, thank you. Salam alaikum. How are you, brother? It's better to sit here or? Sit there? Okay. Sure. Perfect. Thank you. What is your special food here? Somebody told me that you have ikan... Patin bakar, this one. You got patin bakar. Patin bakar. Oh, patin gula tempoyak. Okay. And then this one, daging salai. This one tempoyak, you know, uh, we use the durian paste. Durian paste, yeah. this one. Patin tempoyak. Yeah. Okay. This one? Um, yeah, just, I think this one is too big just for yeah, me. <laughs> so, so probably go with this one. Set so patin tempoyak. So, so what is it? It's, it's uh, which kind of fish? Uh, patin. Patin? Yeah. With a uh, durian kind durian of... Paste. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah? Very nice. Okay. <laughs> a little bit uh, spicy but just nice. I don't mind spicy. Right. I like spicy. Uh, so we uh, come together with the uh, white rice. Okay. Ulam and sambal tempoya. Awesome. Thank you. Right. And, oh, yeah. and for drinking, you have some... This oh, one, sir? so right. many. Okay, uh, let me look at this and then I'll, so I'll let you know. What's that? I will give you a food first. Yeah. yeah, perfect. And then I'll let you know. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right, guys, so we're gonna try out this uh, patin tempoyak. Apparently, it's a uh, 
local, kind of more local dish. So it's durian. So it's a very for those of you who don't know what durian is, I mean, you haven't been to Southeast Asia or Malaysia. It's a kind of the stinky fruit. I'm not sure how it will go with fish, but let's try it out. That's why we travel. That's why we try different foods. So here we have it, guys. This is the fish with the durian paste. Very interesting. They give you a little bit of vegetable. And of course, you get some rice. You can definitely smell the durian taste. Um, very strong smell durian has, but I don't think they use like a full durian or else this thing wouldn't be eatable. But very interesting. Let's see. First, I want to try the soup. So this has a little bit of a... I can definitely smell the durian. Wow, it's uh, definitely spicy, very strong in durian. But you know what? I'm not the biggest fan of durian. But actually, this has like a a nice, uh, just the right amount of durian. I think. Like, I think a little bit more than this would be too overpowering. Let's try it with the fish. So you gotta be careful of the bones. Try it with the fish. Take some soup. Try some rice. You know, I wasn't expecting it to be this delicious, to be honest. I was expecting maybe overpower of durian, but I feel like it's just the right amount. And the spice kind of balances it out. So having the spice with the flavor of durian and some other herbs, amazing food is done that was amazing and the meal cost me with the drink and the meal cost me about like uh, eight dollars which is really good it's a nice restaurant too as you can see so if you guys are ever here in Guantan and you want to try some very local interesting food come to Jamantori all right guys the meal was amazing what a day what a trip so far it's been here in Guantan Malaysia I love this city. I love the vibe. I love the people are so kind. Um, and yeah, it's just been it's just been really blessed amongst my Muslim brothers and sisters here, like to be able to see the mosque and meet so many kind people. I met a few people who actually watch the channel, which is pretty cool. And uh, yeah, probably another video coming from here soon. So stay tuned. More Malaysia videos coming. Guys, I'm trying to show you the eastern coast the undiscovered places here in Malaysia. So make sure you guys tune in, check in. And if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. And remember, continue to learn, continue to grow. And there is no growth until you leave your comfort zone. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.